What is up, guys? I'm Zaf. I'm Rob. I'm Bryce. And this is Real Time. Today, we're coming back at you with Season 2, Episode 8, aka Finale, of Bridgerton, The Viscount Who Loved Me. And mm, that um doesn't really make me that happy because loved is a past tense. And maybe that means that Kate died. I don't know. If Kate dies, dude. The Viscount Who, I, who Loved Me, not loves. Yeah. I, if Kate dies, I'm going to be broken inside because i don't think anthony would ever be okay ever again dude uh, he, he's literally sworn off love for a large or at least a large portion of his life because of his dad's death and like he's scared of that feeling of loss and he doesn't want to make anyone else feel like that and everything and and now he's finally like loving kate and she's potentially just dead in front of him again like he's potentially gonna watch someone else he loves die Killed in front of another him again animal yeah, she got tossed. Wouldn't say that it's the horse's fault. TBH. Yeah, well, but it did fling her off. Yeah, she is laying down there stone cold out like Steve Austin and actually probably cold and hit a stone. <laughs> Literally stone cold right now. But I don't know how this like, I know he's going to try to get her back, but like, I'm just trying to imagine him on a horse holding her unconscious. That can't he'll, be. He'll probably put her in front of him and then like yeah. ride with her yeah. resting in front so he can like hold on to her and stuff. But or put her like on the. I definitely think that her getting injured like this is gonna make the whole beef with Edwina stop. Like I feel like Edwina seeing her sister yeah. like in danger, or hurt like this, is gonna make her realize I need to stop playing these games I mean, and stop being so passive aggressive and realize yeah. like my sister is here and i love my sister regardless of what went down it's scary though because the doctors are so far behind back in these days so i mean it's gonna be hard yeah i mean we saw some someone die from a bee sting so this is scary for sure i'm really i mean i hope she's all right i think this i won't i don't want to say this is the best thing that could have happened but it feels like this is like if she's it's alive, like a blessing in disguise maybe this is a, could if, if she's alive this may be the best thing that could have happened i think this might bring everyone together yeah because sometimes you need something bad to happen to realize how valuable someone is to you or like how important mm -hmm. and how much you love someone usually when you go through a loss you like realize like wow i need to appreciate people more that's usually how it goes so like i agree edwina is probably gonna be like yeah this is this is pet petty i mean even though it's not that petty like i think it's deserved that she's like upset about it but like for sure to a degree it's like all right i'm gonna get over this it's not it's not that uh, you know you I'm, know i'm but what made her run off on that horse was that she felt bad that she just laid pipe with anthony they did it out in in the i don't know where they were they were out in, in she, the property I think she like Kate laid pipe. She accepted the pipe. Yeah, I think. she did. She uh, didn't lay any. She definitely loved it, though. Anthony did a really good job. So. <laughs> oh my goodness! Round of applause for Anthony. <laughs> show. Good job, Anthony. That was the sound he was making too. <laughs> oh my yeah. god! I gotta, go. I, gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Lady Whistledown just dropped a bomb about Eloise. It is now public knowledge that she had been going to that like publishing place to visit Theo, and that they had been going to like women's rights activist meetings. They called it like uh, radicalists, so it sounded really, really bad. And that definitely, as of right now, is like harming the Bridgerton name. We can already see like the effects of it. Nobody showed up to their ball. I don't think anyone wants to associate with them right now. And that also caused, now Lady Featherington thinks that since their name is getting ruined, it's okay to, to scam them now. So Lord Featherington, Cousin Jack is now gonna try to get Colin to definitely go in on that investment for the uh, the fake rubies. I think somehow something with Will has to happen with where he's like, guys, this is what's happening. Yeah. yeah. He's the only one that knows, really. True, true, true. And he definitely is an ally of the Bridgertons. And hasn't really had much in this season at all. So I think he has to play a part there. His storyline has to end. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm really curious how Penelope's stuff, like storyline's going to go this, this episode, particularly because she just did an awful thing to her friend, but ultimately it was the right thing to do. It actually is probably going to benefit Eloise more in the long run just because now the queen isn't going to suspect Eloise anymore of actually being Lady Whistledown. We definitely saw that Penn felt bad in that one scene of her just like crying like she knows this is going to hurt her but uh, like I said it's it's going to be good but yeah for this episode I just want to see 
like Penn's strategy like how is she going to deal with Eloise being like this upset and I don't know it's just going to be interesting how it all wraps up here yeah I'm really excited to get into it all right guys we're going to go right into this finale so if you do like our videos make sure you like comment subscribe we are so close to 100k subscribers so make sure you pound that subscribe button it means the absolute world to us check out our links in the description we got the patreon the discord and our social medias make sure you follow all of those and send us some stuff to the address at the very bottom of the description. That is our PO box. We do mail time on the channel. So make sure you send us some cool stuff. And yeah, we're going to catch you guys in season two, episode eight slash finale of Bridgerton. The Viscount who loved me, babe. Let's go. Come on, bro. Stay with me. Come on now. Oh, Come on. she's like foggy right now. She should be all right. Oh. oh. Ah, oh, dude, I hate that so much. Yeah, blood on the back. Yeah. You know what's more gross than that, though, is when people cough up blood. I don't disagree. I know. Wow, this is a convenience. Hold her head up, bro. What if they think Anthony killed her? Here's a cut from the back of her head. I kept pressure on it, but it needs stitching. Show me. Can you hear me? I'm blank. She's still shivering. Allow me to get to work. Oh, oh, Anthony is so upset, dude. I'm gonna freaking, I'm gonna freak out. Oh, I'm so triggered for him right now. This can't happen again. Oh. It's my fault. No, Anthony, it's not your fault Man. at all. Did banger. You're just gonna save her life, bro. Oh, he's oh. gonna freak out. Oh no, you Benedict, might. go help him. You have to go help. Oh my god, dude. Anthony's about to spiral and it's about to be bad. Ugh. I'm already filled with anxiety, bro. This shit just started. It's been a week since she last published. There should have been at least two issues by now, if not three. Perhaps she had nothing more Did to Lady say Whistledown about go ghost? Ruffian. What are they talking about? Penelope. Lady Whistledown hasn't written in a while. Everybody wants it. They're missing Whistledown. Lord Featherington and I would like to give a book. I want luster and glitter and gold. I want the best of everything. And they're not going to invite the Bridgertons. We call it the Featherington Blue. How did she think of that? Oh, you were That's so a, smart. That was a crazy name. I love it. What about the Bridgertons and the Sharmas? Considering the state of their household. It certainly would be titillating to see those two families in one place again. <laughs> yeah, everyone does love a touch of drama. Everyone knows Miss Sharma is yet to awaken from her accident. Mm. Oh my god, she still hasn't woken up? It's been like 10 days, they said. She hasn't woken up? That's really bad. Colin, would you care to inform me about anything? I do not take note of staff changes, brother. And what about our accounts? Oh, the investment? No one gives any thought as to how it must be managed. Just one in 20, brother. There's no one in this family allowed to make their own decisions. You, keep your doodling. And do not ask me to speak of your activities. I would not know where to begin. Hmm. I must go too. But do not worry, brother. I shall send you notice of every step I take today. Yeah. <laughs> doodling awaits, I suppose. I think it's very reasonable to be upset about the money, though. How is she? I do not know. I have not... You have not been to see her? It has been a week. Have I not made it clear that I've been busy? No, oh, he just... He knows if he goes, it's gonna... He's gonna go crazy. He's just probably he's already beating himself up. I need her it. to give him, like, some comforting mother stuff. Miss Eloise, a package for you. No, I do not want... You that. might want this one. Was it from Theo? Book it's a book sure. from Theo. This guy. He's like, I know who it's from, Eloise. You're gonna want to see this. Isn't that the guy that takes her out? Yeah. Yeah, he's the one that drives her, or whatever. Oh. oh. There's a note in there. There's a letter, message. Tell us what it says. Yeah, what? Theo Sharp, what are you telling her? I feel like it might be info on uh, Whistledown. Why did you continue lying to me, carrying on with me, when you knew this entire time that the real Lady Whistledown has been using this very shop? Why do you think I ended things the way I did with you, despite wanting to do the very opposite? Mm. Oh, he's a sweet boy. You can like him again, Zeph. Yeah, he's good. I must know everything you know. The manuscripts came early mornings. Do you have the wrapping they came in? They never came in wrapping. They came sewn into silks. Oh. He's gonna be like, it is Madame Delacroix. But it wasn't. Someone working with Madame de la Croix. Uh-oh. Oh, Will, see? Will knows. 
So then, where are these mines exactly? Well, I hesitate to say the exact location. I would not want other prospectors taking over their buyers, you can imagine. Vondrich! Pleasure seeing you. I don't like Jack. No, he's an ass. Who do you like more, Jack or the other Featherington? Honestly, or... the other one. Mr. Bridgeton, you cannot be entertaining any of this. Wow. Finest. The man is a swimmer. I beg your pardon. Whoa. Just went right for it. He's being honest, though. The Featheringtons are a fine family whose reputation has been most unfairly traduced. I would be very careful of the accusations you make. Colin, Colin you're an idiot. Perhaps we might find another place to conduct our business, Featherington. Don't say he didn't warn you, Colin. That was like, ugh. Oh. Colin's gonna give away all the Bridgerton money. So it didn't work. Colin is a big dummy, dude. He's not smart. You do know that America has no morals. Uh oh. Uh... You can be that queen. Little smoochy oh, here. Bobby. Think about it. She was going for that, man. Yeah. Yeah, she wanted a kiss. He did not supply one. I kind of wanted the. The sex scene to happen. Through these Featheringtons. Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, the kiss. <laughs> that sounded like weird acting. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm happy as well. I hope she can remember stuff. Did Lord Bridget come to see me? No. He rescued you in the park. Gallantly, in fact. He brought you back here several days ago. But he did not visit you, though, to answer your question. I think it's because it had hurt him too much. Dude, Edwina's gonna go to Anthony and be like, You need to go see my sister right fucking now. Anthony. She's awake. Edwina's here. She's awake. Mrs. Wilson oh. from one of the maids. <laughs> oh. Oh, Anthony, oh, cry. Yeah, it's okay. okay. <laughs> oh, it's okay. God. You love her. It's all right. It almost really made me sad. <laughs> I know, dude. My eyes filled up instantly. Comfort him. Be a mom to him. Yeah, what is her deal? They just have such a complicated relationship. Finding someone like that. The Viscount that loved me. Are they going to talk about their dad? His dad, maybe? Is that what the episode title mm, could be about? Maybe. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry that it was you who was with your father that day. This is, we need this. She has owed him this apology for so long. He's what I think about every night before I close my eyes, and then again every morning before I open them. He would never go away. Damn, Violet. Bridgerton's got me fucked up. Losing Edmund was. Can't even imagine losing a significant other like that. Oh. And I would undoubtedly feel the same pain I felt all over again if I had to, because real, true love is worth it. Ugh. Violet's spitting right now. Do not lose her, Anthony. You cannot lose her. I've wanted this interaction between them for so long. This is pretty awesome. Much, pretty much since the beginning of the season, I've wanted this. Oh my goodness. Just like, don't like it's the worst pain in my life. But like, the 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 joy it brought me and the, the times we had to make it worth it. Mm -hmm. I'd do it again. I thought you were her at one point. I proved to be wrong. But I do realize you have boys taking packages in and out all day long, which puts you in the most perfect position to direct her issues to the printer without raising a single mm -hmm. eyebrow. We got it figured out here. I don't think we know it's pen though. It would be foolish of me. To be engaged with such a scandalous person. Mm, look, Ray, you're kind of a bad liar. Madame Delacroix, we would like to be gilded. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. There she is herself. Ma Lady Whistle Down. There has been gossip about you and a man from the lower classes for weeks. You like to have heard people talk. I thought I'd been discreet. Are you quite sure? Lady Whistle Down has done you a favor. No, no hey, one's talking man. about that. She's just ga she's gaslighting Eloise right now. Like the only way for it to work or for her to know is if like somehow she's with Theo and he, he sees Penn and goes, holy shit, it's that girl. Bridgerton, Tessa, mind if I join you? I think this might become a threesome. <laughs> That's a 
early they, jump on they, that. They've like. just been te- like this guy has been giving Benedict weird looks every time they've shown this art school. Considering your exceptions, how it was based on well, you know what? Stupid. But enlighten me, please. He only got in because of his name, maybe. Your brother's large donation to the academy. Oh. Secured your place. No. Anthony donated a lot of uh, money to get him in, bro. Was it Anthony? I'm assuming. I mean, had to have been. Thank you for the flowers. Was there something else, my lord? I am in love with you. I want to be with you for the rest of my life. Will you please be my Viscountess? I called on you. The morning of. I called on you to apologize. You deserved so much more. And you brought your ring to propose to her. I came to apologize and to ask you to marry me. Anthony. I'm asking you. No, no, my lord, I I do not need you to ask me anything at all. Kate. I'm returning to India. No, Kate, you're going to marry him. Lady Gandhi has kindly offered to sponsor my mother and sister for another season. I'm certain they would do perfectly well on their own. If it is clear, I am of no help. No, Kate. Come on. Don't feel bad for yourself here. Please go. Can't let a love like this go away, man. Come on. She's gonna be with him. Edwina's gonna give her the okay and then she'll be with him. The other is given out for business. I feel like the a big part of this episode is going to be Al cracking Penelope's cud. Yet another clue that will only need more. Oh, something's going to be figured out here. <laughs> nope, they're just going to touch mm. and feel romantic feelings towards each other. Kiss. <laughs> she can't. She can't. She shouldn't even be alone with him right now. We cannot continue to meet like this. Ah. Oh. You know, I, I know it was. And, and I'm sorry for wasting your time. Are you? Hmm. You dipped your toe into my waters, trying to make yourself feel better about the unknown advantages of your birth. Now you can go back to your life. Aw, oh, he's hurt real bad. He's crying, bro. Ah. Oh. No. Leo. Oh, you gotta turn uh, around when she says that. Ugh. This is so sad. Might we bring our new selves to this ball the Featheringtons are giving tonight? I do not want you to attend for me. Whatever action you now wish to take, I only hope it is because you are being truthful to yourself. Mm. Then I gotta go talk to Anthony. And get yep. that I gotta ring. go get that ring, baby. Become Lady Bridgerton. Did we not find such? She goes, I didn't mean like marry my ass. Yeah, what? Like, what? I truly do not want to go to this dreadful ball tonight. Would you like a companion? What? Of course I would not, because <laughs> I'm apparently free. Imposter party is too. <laughs> We're getting wasted tonight, boys. Let's go. Where's the wine? Do we have any wine? Gregory. Surely we're not getting Gregory in the finale. Get him out of here. I need my precious screen time. You do? Like you're in the show? I need my precious screen time not to be wasted watching Gregory. I'm sorry for disturbing you. <clears throat> Gregory, wait. Gregory, wait. Come get some more screen time. Screen time. <laughs> what are you looking at? Am I like him at all? Oh man. Is he more like you? He doesn't. He has no memories of his dad. Yeah, he was a baby. I feel like Gregory is kind of like him. We love both of us, really. We have my seriousness, perhaps. He shared your love of a prank. He wants to put glue in Benedict's shoes. <laughs> <laughs> That's super funny. I didn't know they had glue back then. Your father was the best man I've ever known. He was good for a lot of calls, but he was courageous and never afraid to fight not just for his family, but for everything else. Himself. Himself? That probably makes Violet so happy. Dude, Anthony is a master at almost making me cry. I know. Same, like, same, almost same. making me cry. I had a blank. I'm like, it's coming out. It didn't come out, but right there. You took me in as your own. And 
you never treated me any differently. Everything I, I did, I owed it to you. You owed me nothing. You never had to earn your place in this family. This is just the episode where everyone's unpacking their emotional trauma. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just... Except Edwina. I mean, she told Kate, be honest with me. Like, I'm done playing this character. It grieves me to think you do not believe you deserve all of the love in the world. You do, Kate. You're such a sweetheart. He's gotta have a headache. He was going to ask me to marry him. He did ask you. The Viscount. And I could not allow it, Mama. He was going to ask me out of mere obligation. That's not why he was gonna ask you. Out of obligation? Are you serious? Well, she just thinks that because they slept together that he thinks that they have to get married now, but he just loves her. Oh, I shall swim. Queen is in attendance. Imagine throwing a party and the queen shows up. Like, that's what she's doing that night. I am sorry, Mama. I fear I must disappoint you yet again. The only thing that would disappoint me is seeing you starting to care what anyone else thinks. That would not be me. It's probably why Penn did it, because she knows Elle, like, doesn't really care what people think. But, like, that many people... That's though, bad, you yeah. Have to... And it affects her whole family, too. Wife. And his lady friend in the closet, apparently. 20 minutes. <laughs> what happened? People were hooking up. I took your advice and I extricated myself. I did not take it well, but I think it was a necessary choice. You were Thank you. ruining Elle's life. For protecting me. You are a true friend. Mm, quite the opposite at the moment. I hear he recently spent a good deal of time with Miss Goring in a closet. For what I cannot imagine. Where is it that you hear that? Miss Goring is over there, alongside the lemonade table. Eloise is gonna realize that Penn knows all about this gossip, bro. Oh. What a keen observation, Penn. <laughs> Finally. Oh yeah. It's Look at clicking. Her. It's clicking. Oh wait. <laughs> yep. It's been right in front of my eyes this whole time. I'm glad you decided to come. I could not miss out on one last evening with you before I go. <laughs> You're not going anywhere, Kate. Nope, you're gonna marry into the Britons. Might we take to the dance floor? <clears throat> with who? Ourselves. And they dance with each other. Anthony is going to be starstruck. <sighs> it's just so, like... Cringe seeing how people like are acting towards them. Yeah, <sighs> can you believe that? Like the, it's like I get it if you're like wow look at them out there like They're, they're the whole time. They're just like talking. It's like I mean how much can you say Colin about it? Colin dancing with Cressetta? Mind you that beautiful necklace you're wearing. A gift from Lord Featherington. 17 rubies in fact. Eight gas rubies. <laughs> Not real. Class just broke. <laughs> oh. Might I mend it for you? He wants to look at it. As a way with jewelry. You would not be making up an excuse just to call on me, would you? Oh. Oh no. Is Colin big braining this? Yeah, hundred percent. I'm gonna go look at this. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh my God! What's he about to do? He's about to kiss me. There are no gemstone mines at Georgia. Mm. Your cousin, Lord Featherington. I believe he is nothing but a mere charlatan. What? What are you saying? I'm saying if I'm right, then this necklace. Oh, there he is. Cool. Oh. That this necklace is a fraud, made of glass, just like you. How dare you take advantage of these poor ladies, Featherington, without a father or a husband to protect them? Lady Featherington is going to be like, yeah. How could you do that? I expect you to return all of the funds you have collected and leave town at once. Oh, shit. See you, Cousin Jack. I'll deal with this. Thank goodness for Mr. Britain. <laughs> she just plays to whatever side she needs to. It's insane. I will no longer have to go through with my proposed marriage uh, to Prudence. I'd run away from Prudence, too. Yeah, for <laughs> real. The future. It sounds so bizarre. Oh, God. Okay. I feel like he's kind of playing her. Yeah, I am gonna ditch my daughters. I'm gonna ditch my daughters for cousin Jack. <laughs> You're astonishing, Colin. I 
how much thank you enough for looking after us. I will always look after you. Perfect. How about we go apologize for Will to being an asshole to him too? Anthony? The five. Be the sister I know that you are. Be funny and brave and feeling. Be unafraid to follow your heart after doing the exact opposite for five. This is good stuff. Finally. Your time to shine. We should continue to keep our distance between us and light it. Perhaps we should not. Mm. Mm mm mm. Come on. Oh, that was kind of clever. That was clean what he just did. Are you going to ask me to dance? You see that trick he did? Yeah. yeah. One last time. Are you going to think yes? Oh, yeah. It's not one last time. It's the. F it's going to be a lot more. You guys are going to have a dance. Wrecking tonight. Ball. Shout out Miley Cyrus. <laughs> I wouldn't want any other song right now. Came in like a wrecking ball. Get a good look, everybody. That's what fucking true love is. Is that we're gonna clear the dance floor? I think so. Yeah, and they're the wrecking balls. Who gives a shit? Fuck no, we're not stopping. Kinda wish there wasn't a, a band in the middle so they could be the center of attention. Even though I know they are, but like... I want everyone to see them. Mm. Oh, this is so good. I think this might be one of my favorite scenes. All that matters is these two. Oh, she sees it. You can see it, Queen. These two did wreck me, indeed. Shut up, bitch. That wedding did not happen because I. Mmm, the Queen saying it. Oh damn, the Queen is such a. Mm. I love this, dude. Do they not? Do they not? Yes, Do Your Majesty. Yes. Then why is no one else dancing? Oh, the Queen is so yes. sick, bro. I love the Queen. Have I yet told you about my nephew? The Prince of Prussia. He is a prince. That, that'd be a fire couple. They're both sweethearts. The Prince of Prussia. Oh, Cressida wanted to get with him last season. She's wearing <laughs> fake ribbon earrings. Well, you guys can't kiss in front of everyone, surely. <laughs> Look at her, she's like, come on, let me get in, let me get in. She really wants to kiss. Everyone, outside, I have a surprise for you all. What? She just did that thing, she was just talking to Lord Cousin Feather Jack. What could they have outside? I'm so confused. L. She tore her room apart. Oh, Eloise! Hearing you repeat all that gossip tonight struck me. Because I've never heard you like that. But it was familiar. Tonight was the first time I, in fact, heard you say that. I've, re I've read it before, but haven't heard you. Why do you think that is? Because you've been reading too much whistle down. You've been writing too much whistle down. Even why you chose to work with Madame Delacroix, because she was someone I had already dismissed. You got it all figured yeah. out, bro. Only took you were two seasons. Caught, Pen. You were caught. I'm sorry. I was trying to protect Is you. Is that what you were doing? By telling the entire world about things I trusted you. It was the only way I could convince the Queen it wasn't you. It was the only way I could save you. The only person you were interested in saving was yourself. That's not true, though, Eloise. She was trying to protect you. I ended my friendship with Theo because of you. One of the only good things in my life was because of your self-serving manipulation. Oh. You have no idea how horrible it felt to keep this from you. I wrote what I wrote and I gave it up for you. I do not even know you. Ah, Pen's got me real sad. I mean, this is fucked. You are something, clearly. An insipid wallflower indeed. At least I did something. 
Dude, just let this be over. Please don't keep going. You have all these great ambitions, these great plans, but I am the one who actually did something great, and you cannot stand it, can you? Oh my gosh. Are we gonna get a fight? I wish you never to see or speak to you. <gasps> Dude. This is worst, the worst outcome possible. I'm so glad Eloise knows, though. Yeah. At least we gave a memorable farewell party. I gave. Oh, you're out. I've instructed the maids to pack up all your things, essential things at least, with enough money to get you on a boat back to America and out of our lives. <laughs> I thought we were leaving together. Huh? Nope. No, we're not. Alone. Hello. Goodbye, Jack. Portia, we are a team. Oh, I already have a team. They are three young ladies, often nettling and contrary. But they are mine. Yeah, the fact that he, like, proposed her to just leave them is kind of crazy. And I had Mrs. Farley forge a signature on a document stating that as soon as one of my girls has a son, the estate shall pass to them. Mm, she faked the, Marie, the, the George Crane letter. You are cruel. I am a mother. She's just looking out for her own, bro. Not even any worse off than when you arrived. He came broke? Leaving broke. Leaving broke. broke. Now get the hell out of my sight. The player got played. Never want to see Cousin Jack ever again. We got a bad streak with Lord Featheringtons. I think the next one will be bad. The baby's probably going to be a little shitter too. Penelope Featherington, the way you were dancing with her looked rather interesting. Oh no. You're courting the girl, Bridget. Ah, are you mad? Oh! I would never dream of courting Penelope Featherington. Not in your wildest fantasy. Oh, Colin, you're a jackass. Oh, that was bad. Wow, Colin's a dick. If you want to paint, it is one of your many talents. Chief among them, your natural gift for seeing what others need, even when they cannot see it themselves. It is a gift it has taken me far too long to recognize, but I would not have done if it were not for you. He did it for you. You deserve it, Benedict. This is so hard to watch. and sad. Nothing is good right now. I was fearful of losing you. It is why I could not visit you after your accident. I could not bring myself to. I love you. Oh, oh Anthony, I love you. I've loved you at every dance, on every walk, every time we've been together. Look, like Simon had a very similar monologue last season. Mm -hmm. You must feel it, but it's tight. I love you. Mm. Oh. I do not know. You do not upset. I do not think there is anything else to say. Not that I love you too. Oh. oh. I'm gonna melt, bro. Oh. My heart can't take this. I cannot imagine my life without you, and that is why I wish to marry you. You do know there'll never be a day where you do not vex me. <laughs> is that a promise, Katana Shaman? Oh. Come on. Come on. Oh. This is so good. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. I love it so much. Oh my god. I'm so happy. I feel like I could just ascend into heaven right now. And that would be it. I love you, Anthony. Oh, these two have completely stolen my heart from me. There is also a shitstorm going on sad. around them. Who cares? Oh, Lady Whistledown's pen's voice now. No one knows that better. Oh, that was brutal what Colin said. <laughs> Absolutely he goes, brutal. He goes, are you mad? <laughs> you were right about the new Lord Featherington. Yeah, I know I, I was right. I just apologize for how I acted the other day. It was what I needed to do in order to gain his trust. I win, I do not perish. Put some of that money towards Perhaps this gentleman's you club. Yourself something as well. Oh, we're bringing the boys here. I'm in your debt now, Mr. Mondridge. You... Yes, please help him out, dude. Will is a good-ass guy. What a great <laughs> thing to do right after he did a bad yeah, thing. <laughs> still pretty upset with him. <laughs> if I was Penelope, I would just not talk to him anymore. Gentle reader, you thought I was silenced, but you thought wrong. This author cannot keep quiet. Oh, alone. God. Yours truly, Lady Whistle. Oh, I thought it was going to say Penelope. It never ends, bro. I thought she was literally gonna say Penelope. Whoa. 
Are we gonna get a time jump like last one? They're gonna have a baby. Oh my Yo. gosh. The the Viscount and Viscountess are doing Getting each other on. boobs. Yeah, those were nipples. Naked's on the screen. Naked his damn eyes poked out with this thing. <laughs> Dude. I'm happy for Anthony. Dude. I'm so I, can, I actually being, couldn't be any happier. Be again. Couldn't be any happier for Anthony. Oh, Augie. Oh. Little Augie. I'm going to take a wild guess and say Simon has not made the travel again. Let's soak this in, guys. Last we're going to ever see Daphne in this show. Perhaps we begin playing. Hoping to get your inevitable defeat over with, brother. All right, that's Kate just lives here now, huh? Yeah, she's late. She's going to be all in next season. Is your dog? Oh, and yours too, oh, I'm so oh, happy yeah. for you, Anthony. Ah, well, that is between you and him. He does not listen to me. I believe I do. Mm, look at him. I am so happy for him. They're so competitive. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Horny runs in the family, huh? I mean, oh. eight kids, huh? This is the most beautiful thing. I'm so happy for him. Now we get to watch Gall and find love. Bye, Daph. Bye, Daphne. Yes, Anthony. Oh. The love. Perfect match, bro. This makes me want to find Anthony's love. Anthony's perfect love match. I don't think I could ever be so romantic. I could. I could. Just have to find the right time. Oh, God. <laughs> that was so Dude, good. the way that that wrapped up was so good. I'm so happy with that ending. Surely uh, this was the better season. Yeah, I honestly wasn't sold until this last episode. I was up in the air. I was going to say it could go either way for me, but I just love everything that happened this yeah. episode. So so for me, when I like compare the two seasons, I, I definitely think I like season two more, but I feel like a, the main reason is just because I feel like this show was at its best whenever Anthony and Kate were on the screen. Like whenever it was about them and their like love romance or whatever it was just like the in my opinion the yeah. best peak split. bridgerton yeah literally it was peak bridgerton in all of those moments to be honest though i feel like some of the other storylines like colin and even benedict i felt like were way more interesting in season one yeah um i mean i feel I, like they I, didn't really have a storyline i'd argue benedict's was better this season I don't. I don't what, know. What did he do the first season? Just go to that. That the that whole. Sex house yeah, the, the whole. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like he sort of just did the same thing this season, but less. With another. I don't group. know. It was weird. And then Colin, like, I'll give you Colin. Yeah, he was way more interesting in the first season with Marina's whole storyline and everything. And honestly, Eloise. I, I don't know why, but I th I think I liked Eloise's storyline in the first one. I like too. I, it, too. It, I think I like Ellen in this one. It picked up a little bit at the end there, whenever like she got accused of being whistle down and stuff. Like I thought that whole s narrative was interesting, and then her obviously telling off Penn at the end was awesome. Very satisfying moment. I really like that. Even though I don't think Penn entirely deserved it, because she is right when. She did do the right thing. She saved Eloise. Like, she saved her reputation. To be fair, though, she also could have saved her by telling the truth and exposing herself as Lady Whistledown. But, yeah, I definitely think that I like Season 2 more. I understand why you guys were so excited for us to get to it quickly because, wow, is the Kate and Anthony love story just amazing, bro. That was so good. Anthony is 100% my favorite character, too. 100%. Like, hands down. By far yeah. my favorite character you in the show. You guys ho hopping on board with me. Oh, yeah. I mean, season one, He's he not, wasn't my favorite. Yeah, he was my but favorite. But now, now that I've one. seen season two, I definitely feel like I could probably go back to season one and be like, ah, that's my guy. Like, I don't yeah. know. But that's like knowing, having context. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, but I still was team yeah. Anthony from yeah. the day one. I know. But I think the reason I liked Anthony so much is because he was, uh, I, I guess it, Daphne was the main character. He was the definitely one. the main male lead, though, besides Simon. Like, yeah, he was the I main just, male. That's Bridgerton. why I think I liked it more, because I think 
I think you Anthony, could relate to his story, like perspective, more than Daphne. Yeah, because yeah, I obviously. just think Anthony was a better like. I, I think his love story was much more interesting. I, I agree. It like I th- I was complaining about it like during the season that it was more drawn out, but I feel like that kind of paid off at the end. Like it did feel like a bigger payoff more so than uh, Simon and Daphne because I feel like literally by halfway through the season they were married like yeah it was oh, yeah. very very quick how how quickly their relationship like advanced i love the part when they were dancing and wrecking ball was playing and then the queen just stuck up Dude. stood up for them she was so cool this, i liked her i think she was much cooler this season than way cooler prior yeah the queen is honestly one of my favorite characters she's just always super dope anytime she's on the screen she's not always the nicest she's not always like super kind but she's just a badass constantly i really really like the queen lady danbury as well lady danbury as well shout out i feel like she low-key took more of a back seat in this season she was definitely like danbury i i think so I think she was big. i mean i think she was big too she she had she was very i, I feel like know. her biggest role for being there was just so the sharmas could be there i remember like the that's the first couple episodes she was just hosting them we were talking about how much screen time she was getting yeah I guess maybe she just sort of fell off in that second half of the season. Maybe I'm that. not sure because well, she didn't I, know what to do. Yeah, I I just sort of am kind of forgetting about her in that second half. I just know I just remember her mostly just being there to host the Sharmas and like obviously giving her Lady Danbury advice. But I think she was a a really big character in the first half. Then she fell off after after the wedding. The Queen like gave for Edwina and Anthony. Yeah, I think is when she took it down. I like how we were like trying to figure out how everything was gonna work itself out, like the Bridgerton uh, name and the Sharma name, and it literally just was the Queen being like, "They're cool, <laughs> they're cool guys." Anyone got something to say? About what it? are you gonna do about it? And everyone's like, "Yeah, you're right, Queen. They are cool." And now we're all just good. <laughs> like it's kind of a, a cop out, but I like it. I, the Queen gets what she wants, bro. She doesn't mess around. I, I like it. I also got the i think i got everything that i wanted pretty much kate and anthony together mm. edwina forgiving her sister giving her her blessing and eloise yeah. knows about whistle down now that checks all the boxes i got everything i, I wanted I, I i was thinking like i definitely liked anthony better than daphne and i i'm i know this is controversial but i do think i like kate more than simon too i think i mean i get i like their romance more i like i mean kate was I don't know. I just like Kate a lot. She was really good. She was really good. I think I preferred her over Simon. I'd humbly disagree, but I don't want to go in on that because I want to celebrate this season while we're talking about it. Yeah. But Simon was just that guy. I mean, Simon was sick. I, I, I missed him a lot this season. I just felt like at times this season, like like we said, it was definitely a slow burn, like their love. Mm-hmm. But I, we talked about it already a lot in past episodes, but like there were so many just like fake outs, like... You think like, okay, this is their time. This is the time they fall for each other. It's like, no, mm-hmm. it just kept going back and forth. It felt, for me, it felt like a lot of the time, whenever it wasn't on like Edwina, Kate, Anthony, it felt like we were just kind of burning time until we got back to them at points. Like some of it felt literally like it was just trying to fill spaces, like some of the side storylines. Yeah, like what would have happened if Lord Featherington's storyline wasn't in the season? What would have changed? Yeah. Like actually like tell me. No, the Featheringtons were terrible this season. Yeah, I didn't besides Penn, like okay, so now Prudence just doesn't have a husband like a she's not engaged. Okay. So know. back nobody to cares normal. about Philippa and Prudence. Sorry to all you Featherington lovers. We are not uh, House Featherington here. Um, yeah. I think uh, my sister actually told me that whenever she rewatched season two, she just fast forwarded through the Featherington parts, which I'll be honest, if I did that or if I ever rewatched, I'd probably do the I same. I think I'd be Can't too lie. lazy to fast forward every time the Featheringtons came yeah, on That is a lot. It I, is just, a lot. I just like. And I, w- I just wasn't here for like the whole I felt like they were trying to give like Lady Featherington like a redemption at the end there I'm like no I'm like yeah this is cool because I dislike I mean cousin I still don't like she, her. she's she, terrible I feel like she's getting like applause for doing the absolute bare minimum yeah. that a mother should do I'm not I'm not like a huge fan of her but I respect her sort of like she's just looking out for her kids at the end of the day like that's her main priority always I'm just glad that cousin Jack is gone out yeah. of here he's a tool what a, bro what a bad next, character never so, like yeah he's just an awful character mm-hmm. bad 
would not have like uh -uh. actually i feel like it would have been a better season without him to be honest we season three is we heard it's about colin and i mean just with the way things i feel like first off in the next season i think Pe penelope is going to be like big time villain i could see her tarnishing his name off rip yeah after and just heard. that yeah, and I just feel like the Penelope eloise thing and i just i think like how colin hit the love it can't i mean is it gonna be like you think Penelope and I, Colin will be the love say, story. I think Penelope is probably going to be one of, if not like the second main character along with Colin. Not, I don't know if they're going to fall in love, but I feel like their relationship, even though it might not be a romantic relationship, that might be the focus of the the next season because yeah. they are such close friends. Um, and I could see Eloise sort of playing season one Anthony role where like very, very main character, but obviously like secondary uh because i feel like her storyline is also like just getting started really so i could see colin and eloise and penelope being like the main characters in the next season but it is cool to think about though that um i mean daphne and simon obviously had like very explainable reasons for not being in the show like he's the duke he's got his own family to worry about she's the duchess got her own family to worry about they live somewhere else but now kate and anthony he's still lord bridgerton like he's not going anywhere they're gonna live in that house and stay there so mm, i think they're living in that country house now or am i tripping that is their house i thought that's just aubrey hall like that's where they go to i thought that's where visit um, the country oh okay i thought for some reason because he i mean he still has to fulfill his lord bridgerton duties and stuff that is true because like, lord featherington was taking over their house yeah yeah. yeah yeah and uh so he's he has to stick around and like obviously if if next season is about like colin courting or anything like lord bridgerton's gonna have something to say about that like he he obviously is gonna be involved so i'm really really hoping that kate and anthony still are at least somewhat relevant in next season because i, I really, really really like them i think that they are like needed to to keep this show super interesting honestly I wouldn't hate seeing Edwina return and marry the Prince of Prussia, like just for like a little thing, because like to see it, yeah. Because I I loved her, mm -hmm. and I I really liked that guy too. The the small amount they he was they on both screen. did deserve better. Yeah, they both, than what they got. They both were too pure for this uh, social season courting. Mm -hmm. They were really in it for like love. So. One of my favorite scenes in this episode, and I think in in the season overall, maybe even the show, was the scene with anthony and his mom where his mom was just like finally admitting like the way that she treated him has been wrong for pretty much after her father like their father died like she recognizes that he had to take on all this responsibility he didn't have any time to mourn like just wasn't fair to him and if she could have changed things like she would 100 percent go back and change things it's all she thinks about all the time I feel like Anthony has just needed his mom to be his mom to him for so long and it finally happened in this episode and we obviously saw after they had that talk like they're super close like th they love each other obviously but yeah that, that was personally one of my favorite scenes because Anthony deserved that and I love that guy yeah and one more thing I wanted to say before we wrap up on season two I mean obviously we're gonna be covering season three when that comes out definitely very excited but yeah I just want to say I, I know a lot of people thought we weren't gonna like this show or like we had like reservations about us watching it but like I feel like I can speak for all of us we all like really really like this show mm. and I just think I, I think pretty much like anything that it's thrown our way like we'll, we'll we'll have fun with it we'll enjoy it and this this just was a good show like i just think going forward like don't be afraid to like like to recommend shows for us to watch that you might not think like on the surface we would like because i feel like we, we were even surprised by this one just because yeah. of how much we heard about it like beforehand or like oh man like are we gonna even like this but yeah i just i just think we were at least i was pleasantly surprised with this and I'm looking forward to doing more shows that aren't like up our lane or in our lane like going forward yeah that's just how i feel about it all right guys uh if you do like our videos make sure you like comment subscribe check out our links in the description our first link is going to be the patreon we have all of our uncut videos over there as well as some early access the second link is going to be the discord come talk to us about bridgerton we just finished season two and we'd love to talk about the new season 
coming out in the previous ones. And lastly, follow our social medias, our Instagrams and Twitters, and send us some stuff to the address at the very bottom of the description. That is our PO box. We do mail time on the channel. Make sure you check that out. And we'll catch you guys in our next live action. And stick by until season three of Bridgerton. Until then, peace.